All right, so of all odd length subarrays, so they give us an array, and they just want us to go through all the odd length subarrays, so subarrays of length 1, length 3, length 5, and then just sum up all the values in those odd length subarrays. So this problem is actually really chill if you know about one little technique. So let's just say I ask you, how many total subarrays is this 5 in? So like, even and odd doesn't matter. Let me just ask you, how many subarrays is this 5 in? Well, this is one subarray, right? This whole thing. And this would be another subarray, right? If I just move this left bracket, and if I move this left bracket again, that's another subarray. And this would be another subarray. This would be another subarray. Well, all it comes down to is, well, how many different positions can I place these left and right brackets in? Well, I have one, two, three, four. Four places I could put the left bracket in. Uh, yeah, so there's four positions I could put the left bracket in. And there are one, two, two spots that I could put the right bracket in. So what are the how many different ways can I mix and match the positions of this left and right bracket? Well, that's just four times two equals eight. Which means that the number five is in eight subarrays. And if we want to know how many odd length subarrays the five is in, well, we can just divide this value by two. So if we divide this by two, that means that we have four subarrays, or four odd length, four odd length subarrays that this five is in. And if five is in four um, odd length subarrays, well, then we could just do four times five equals 20. And this is how much this five would contribute to our total sum. And what we want to do is we want to do this for every single number. So let's just do this one more time for, let's say, the number nine. Well, how many different ways can I mix and match the left and right, the positions for the left and right bracket? So there's one spot on the left, and there is one, two, three, four, five. Five spots on the right, which means this is an, a total of five subarrays. Okay, so this is a corner case. Because our subarray length here is odd, we actually need to do, so we can divide it by two, but we need to add one. And I'm going to explain why. So this would be, let's see, this would be 5 divided by 2 is 2 plus 1 would be 3 odd length subarrays. And this is a little harder to see with 5, but let's just say, let me explain why, uh, let me explain with an easier case. So like, let's just say I have, let's just do this. Let's say this is the only, this is the my input, it's just single array. This is an odd length, sub, uh, an odd length array or an odd length subarray. And if this is, so we can agree this is just a single subarray, right? But if I divide this by two, this one little subarray by two, that's going to give me zero. But I need to count this. And I don't have, it's not, this is, it shouldn't be zero subarray. I don't have zero odd length subarrays. I have one odd length subarray. So what we need to do is after we divide by two, in the case where our number of subarrays is odd, we need to add one. Um, so that's the only little corner case, so that we can say that this is actually in one odd length subarray. Okay, so uh, we can actually just get right into the code now. Um, so let's actually do that. So let's just comment this out in case I need it for an example. And we will start typing this out. So we need a sum variable. We're going to return that sum. And we need to loop through all of our numbers. I is also an R dot length plus plus I. Okay. And we're going to calculate a left variable. We're going to calculate, so this is the number of positions on the left, number of positions on the right that we can place those brackets in. Then we're going to say the num subarrays equals the left times the right. Then we're going to say num subarrays. We're going to say int odd subarrays equals whatever this number is. We have to divide it by 2 because this would be uh, the total number of subarrays, but we only want the odd length subarrays, so that's why we have to divide by 2. Um, but if this thing is odd, actually, so we'll do, if it's even, we'll just divide by 2. But if it's odd, then we need to add 1. Cool. And then our sum will just 
be however many odd subarrays we have, or how, however many odd subarrays that this value ri is in, we've got to multiply it by the number. Let me just type it. <laughs> and I'll say it out loud. So uh, we take our value and we multiply it by the number of odd subarrays that it occurs in. And so yeah, all we have to do now is calculate this left and right, right here. So uh, let's do left first. So let's just say this was, let's just bring this down here. So if i is zero, so let's say, so let's say i is here, right? This would mean that i is equal to zero in terms of the index, even though the value is nine. Well, there's still one spot on the left. So what we need to do is do i plus one. Uh, right, because if there is this is i equals zero, there's actually one spot that we can put the left bracket in, so we do i plus one to get one. Okay, and that would work for the rest of it. Okay, and now let's do the right, and this is just going to be r dot length minus i. Okay, and the, this little plus one is basically included because this is r dot length instead of um, it's with, uh, you know, uh, let's just do an example, I guess. Well, this is index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, index, let's say this is index 4. Let's say our i is 4. Then, but the length of this would be 5. So 5 minus 4 gives us that one bracket position on the right. Which So we know this is correct. Okay, let's actually run it. Make sure it works. Cool. Yeah, and so this would be O of n time, so uh, and O of 1 space. Alright, so that's how you do this problem. If it helped, um, hey, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you want. I do videos like this, like, about once a week. But anyway, uh, thanks. Bye.